do you think you can predict or do you think you can now tell if someone's lying to you or if they're being dishonest? It happens a lot. When you speak to people, you can, I guess you can look at it this way. You can figure out who's full of BS and who isn't. How? One, you feel it. I think your intuition is a huge thing and we, we dismiss it. Two, people show you, you create baselines on people. So if I sit and I speak to someone and the whole time they're speaking, like when you talk, Stephen, most of your, your hands are usually here. You'll go on the iPad, you do this. That's your baseline, right? You do a lock eye contact. I've got Stephen, right? Now, let's say I, I ask you later a question and maybe it's a question you don't like, right? I ask you, I'm like, tell me about your employees at work or tell me about the most difficult employee you had and how did you deal with it? And it's something maybe that affects you. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to be honest with me. You might be like, oh, you know, Evie. And you look down, I'm like, well, you know, I'll see a shift. This whole time I'm talking to Steven, he's locked in with me. He's got a certain posture. I ask him this question. He just showed me something different. Why? That's it. Why? And then now I know to be curious that when you're done asking or answering my question, I come in with good follow-up questions because you're showing me something ha is happening here. What most people don't do, Stephen, is they see something, it registers, and they let it go. They don't follow up to, with another question and then another question and then another question. You don't want to be nosy, but you want to be curious. Who's the greatest liar you ever met? Can you recall an instance of meeting someone who was just a really great liar? I had this one guy, he was doing, it wasn't a big scam, but he was doing ATM fraud. So you know how you go to the ATMs and you, you, you go, you put in your card, you take out money. So he was going onto the ATMs and he would, he would put us on a skimming device. This is a very, I don't want to, but a pr very primitive way to steal money. So he would put on his own skimmer on the ATM. So when you swipe your card, you're swiping it on his skimmer. So it captures all the info. So this guy was just kind of like very low level, basic criminal. He's going around to the, all the ATMs in Brooklyn and he's doing this skimming device. So on the ATMs, they take photos of you. So I've got a photo of this guy. I've got him and he's got his hat on. I think it was like a New York Knicks hat at the time. He's got his hat on. I've got his full frontal. We found the guy. We matched the prints to the prints on the ATM. Boom, I've got my guy, I got my photo. This is easy day. I put him in the interview room. I sit him down. Hey, you know. I want to talk to you about this. First, I do like a, a rapport building. What's your name? Where are you from? Talk to me. He's super nice. Super nice guy. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. You know, and he was from another country, I remember. So we're talking. He's looking to me. Yes. And he's very, very um, wants to help me. Yes, I want to help you. And I'm so, you know, yes, of course. Like very cooperative, overly cooperative. So that's my red flag. I'm like, this guy's trying too hard. And uh, sir, I want to ask you about this ATM scam. Oh, no, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I'm like, no, how about here? And I just start revealing a couple of things. And I've got my photo in my background. I'm like, I'm going to bust out this photo. This guy's going to be like, yup, that's me. Sorry. So as I'm doing this, I'm hitting a wall. No, no, no. I'm sorry, mom. I wish I could help you. No, no, no. So I got the photo of the guy. Do you know he showed up to my interview wearing the same hat? Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I'm locked. I'm tight. Pull out the photo and I'm like, oh, yeah? Then what's this? Put it down on the table. He looks at it. Oh, yeah, that's me. It looks like me, but yeah, wow, I could see. It. No, it's not me. <laughs> it was him. I got, he mean nothing, nothing. He was, I will never forget him. Just great liar. Most people waver this and that, not this guy. He was locked tight. 